First thing we're going to do is to prep the four doors. There's two large doors, two small doors. We're going to take the inch and a half pins and insert those into either end of all four doors. Then we're going to attach the handles. And these are uh, 7 8 machine screws. And we're going on the back side. When you take the magnet out of the package, you're going to have uh, two little round-headed screws, one flat-headed screw. That's the one that the plate goes on, because that plate, that plate has to be nice and flat when it engages the magnet. So we're going to put that on. You take a fine tip screwdriver. That's the only special screwdriver or different screwdriver you're going to need. And up at the top, just above the handle, you're going to see a little pilot hole there. And that's for this flat-headed screw. And you're going to flatten that down. Next, we're going to prep the uh, top and bottom front braces. This top front braces, these are the blocks where your magnets will go. Uh, it's oriented like this. All we're going to do here is put three-quarter inch pin, those are the shortest pins, into each end. We'll put that one aside. Then we're going to take the bottom front, and that's going to be oriented like this. We're going to put the uh, three-quarter inch pins in the ends of that. And then there's two holes here. You see there's a set of holes here. But the, these two holes, they're going to get one-inch pins. Those are going to be to hold a, a shelf a little bit later on. And you can take those and tap them in. One here, one there. Okay, now we're, well, we're going to assemble the spice rack. This is the left side. You get the bigger holes for the inside. This is the right side. Bigger holes for the inside. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the shelves. Now you'll notice the shelves are rounded on one edge and on the back side, there's holes. Uh, this is where you're going to attach this uh, spice rack to the card itself. So only one of those will be used. But what we're going to do is we're going to attach them with one and a quarter inch number eight screws. The outsides, the, and we're using these uh, black or bronze one and a quarter number eight screws. I'm going to do one side and then the other, so that way I can get the, the two. Then we're going to put the, uh, the tubes in. These are stainless tubes. That to hold to keep the spices in place. I'm going to take the other side, line the tubes. We'll line the uh, screws up with the uh, shelves, like we did on the other side. Now yeah, your racks assembled, we'll just put that aside. Okay, now we're going to assemble the drawer. This is your drawer front. It's tapered, holds for the uh, handles. This is the slot for the drawer bottom. This is your left drawer side. The larger hole is going to go toward the front, toward the two holes in the back. And this is your right side. This is the back slot going toward the bottom. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the sides with these one and a quarter number eight. Uh, probably find them to be silver screws. I'm taking that screw them in place, and then I'll do exactly the same thing with the other side. And we're going to take the drawer bottom, that's the nice thin part, put your best side, that's going to be uh, the one you're going to put up, turn it up and slide that into place. Here again, our best side is up, make sure it goes to the slot in the back. Okay, we take the bastion post, 
you may want to tap it with a hammer a little bit to get it started. Then you take a flat blade screwdriver and screw it down until the solid shaft hits the wood, and then back it out about a turn until the slot in the top is parallel with the short edge. And then you'll be ready to go. Okay? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take these little Take these little barrel nuts, the little nuts that look like a, look like a barrel, and uh, thread it on one end, little notches on the other to show you where the hole is in the side. That's where the, the post is going through. And so I'll line that up. I see the little notches. I want to be able to see that hole right down through the end there. And I'll take the other one. Put that in the same way. Here again, the little notches on the lip are right straight up and down. I'm going to take the front and slip the post into the ends of the, the door size. They're going to go right through that the sides of the um, the barrel nut there. And you have to make sure you get the uh, bottom lined up. Okay. And then once you get that lined up, you're going to take your little Allen wrench that's provided. You're going to tighten it down, tighten, put it into the uh, barrel nut and tighten it down, keeping the barrel nut as close to the inside of the drawer front as possible. It won't go down all the way, but it'll go down a, a good portion of the way. Give you a real nice fit. It's a compression type fitting. The tip of this set screw is seeking, uh, it's actually hitting the taper on the side of that post and it's seeking the center of the hole in the post. And when it does, it's a compression and it tightens things up really nicely. And now we've got the drawer completed except for the handles. And you're going to put those handles on exactly the same way you did with the doors. Seven eighths inch machine screws and handles. Okay, to finish off the drawer, you have to put the uh, drawer lines on. You're going to notice that it sort of fits right over the bottom there. And uh, here's a little indentation on most of them that says DL, which is drawer left. What you want to make sure is that this is butted against the inside of the drawer front. And the first two holes pilot holes in that drawer side will appear. And we're going to secure those with the uh, screws from the little packet. Okay, now we're going to attach the glide support to the, to the sides. Uh, the sides are exactly the same at this point. There's no left or right. What's going to determine that is the, uh, are the glides when we put those on. So now I'm going to attach a glide support stick you notice there's four holes, smaller holes, and then there's two holes at the top. Those two holes are going to go at the top of the panel. The bottom of the side has the holes for the uh, casters there. And the, you're going to attach them with the uh, one and a quarter number eight screws in four places. Okay? And we'll do exactly the same thing with the other one. Put that in four places. And then we'll proceed from there. I'm going to attach the L brackets with a 5 8 number 7 screw. This should be loose in the packet. Some of the other 5 8 screws are for special purposes and they're in little packets and tell you what they're used for. But you really, you'll notice the L bracket has a, a hole or a slot, and then one side it just has a slot. We're going to use the hole with just the slot. We're going to secure that to the uh, Wide support bridge we just put in, and it's going to be flush at the top. Right here, it's going to be flush there. Okay, now we're going to take the cabinet glides and attach them to our support stick. And you'll notice these are almost like a little C or a U, depending on how you look at it, at the end, whereas the ones that go on the drawer are more like a little uh, Z. But you'll notice also at the top of the wheel, there's a notch out. 
that's where the other wheel is going to come over the top. So, also on your uh, glide support stick, um, on your glide support stick, you have four little pilot holes. You're only going to use two of them. You're going to use the first and the third. Now, this is going to become our left side. I'm going to take this, line it up, and the important thing is not so much what holes will line up through the holes in the glide, but that this is almost centered, so you have just a little bit of overhang on the front and a little bit on the back. And in this particular case, uh, number two hole back from the wheel, see that, and then I look back down here, and number four hole from the other end will line up. I'll tighten those down. Stick. You got just a little bit overhang there. You're going to be perfect. So now these two should be mirror images of each other. Wheel, wheel. You got space at the top and the sides. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach these side panels to the back panel. Okay. Now we're going to attach the side panels to the back panel. You'll notice the back panel has four large holes. The ones that are closest to the edge. Uh, those are the bottom, and they're going to go next to the bottom, which is, has the holes for the casters here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that up into place, line it up, take a one and three quarter inch machine screw, bring it till I just see the tip of it. I'm going to put uh, a nut on my fingertip, push it up against the wood toward the side panel, until I can feel that coming through there. Then I'm just going to tighten it down. Okay, then I'm going to uh, attach it to the, to the other side. One little tip is that the back is very heavy and these holes are uh, off just a little bit as far as front and back go. So if you need a little bit of extra space to get the clearance for the bolt and the nut there, just take a little screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver slide it in about an inch and it'll give you a little bit of um, wiggle room there when you're trying to uh, attach that nut and bolt. Okay, we've got to install the uh, bottom front brace. That's the one that we prepped a little bit earlier. Make sure you still got the three quarter inch pins in. It's okay if those pins are loose, they just keep the brace from turning. You also put one inch pins in two places there. The four holes for the door are going to go up. And we're just going to uh, put that pin in the slots. And then we're going to secure that brace here again with a one and three quarter inch machine screw and nut. Okay, well I've got this all open. This is a good time to put some of the shelf support pins in. Uh, you need to tap those in, a lot of them will just go in. If you use the one inch pins, two go on the bottom of each side panel. See two holes there. And then you're going to put two in the bottom holes of the back panel. That one's a little bit tighter just because it's plywood. I'm going to tap that one in. And then another one's going to go in right over here. Now we're going to install the four doors. The small ones go to the outside. This is going to be your, your left small door. And before I put that in place, I'm going to put a washer on the bottom of it because that's going to be your pivot part. You don't need to put one on the top. But on the wash bottom, you need one for a pivot. Okay. I'm going to put that in place right there. Then the next one I'm going to put in place going to be the larger door. This handle goes to the inside. These two will go to the inside on the other side. So I'll just put another washer here. And then I'll install
install the other two doors and we're ready to go to the uh, top front brace. Okay, we'll put the uh, top front brace on, you have the blocks down, and you need help here because the doors are loose at the bottom, and what you want to do is you want to line up the first pin here, then the second pin, and you're going to lower it, the brace just a little bit at a time until you've got all four into place. Then when you get all four into place, then we're going to secure those with the one and three quarter inch uh, screws and nuts, and then we'll secure the doors with the uh, magnet that go on the uh, little box. Okay, the easiest way to attach the magnet is I've turned the unit all the way upside down, so this is the front and this is the top, and just let work uh, gravity work for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magnet and stick it right on that plate. Then I'll close the door. And when I close the door, then I'm going to put my thumb on the top of that magnet with a lot of pressure and just open the door. And then your magnet is in perfect position. And then I'm just going to secure that magnet with two of these little round-headed screws that came with the magnet pack. Uh, you can always get there. The block is pine, so it, uh, it doesn't need any pilot holes. But if you find you're having trouble, you can always just take a pencil, mark those holes, take a little nail, punch it a little bit, and then start your screws. But I find that this works just about as well. So I'm just going to attach those, uh, all of them, exactly the same way. Okay, while we have this upside down, it's a good time to put the wheels on. Usually put the locking wheels on the front, and the ones with the little lever here. And then you take the little sleeves, put them in, tap them down so that the teeth grab the wood. Then you can either push it down or just hit on the metal part and see if you do that to all four of them. Make sure that they're seated well in the wood. Locking on the front, trying on the back. Okay, at this point you can decide which side you want the towel bar on, which side you want the spice rack on, because uh, right now it doesn't really matter. Uh, on the back of the spice rack you'll notice that both of the shelves have holes. We're only going to use the top holes for that. And uh, we're going to put it on the right side. So I'll put the one inch Phillips head screws, put a washer over them. towel bar on the other side. Okay, now we're going to put the towel bar on. You've got two wooden standoffs and the stainless steel tube. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach one of the standoffs. Can I get here again? I'm going to use a one inch number eight screw on each one of these little standoffs. And put it through the back here. Insert the bar, put the other one on, and I'll just secure it, tighten it down. Uh, okay, now we're going to insert the bottom shelf. Just going kind to of angle it down all the way to the bottom. So I level it off, and I'm going to drop it on the back pins, the ones that are part of this back panel, and let it drop forward. So now you've got your bottom shelf installed. Okay, now we're going to put the dividers in. First we have to put the pins. We use one inch pins. Here in the back panel, you see on either side there's two holes side by side. I think I can show them to you here. Tap those in. And then right below them there's two more on the bottom. We'll put two more there. Two more will go in here, and two more on the bottom. And then on the inside of the top front brace, right adjacent, I know about an inch from the block, from the magnet block, there's another hole. That's going to get a pin. There's another hole up to the left, and that one isn't used on this model. So that we've got to 
pins in place. I've got a pin here. Show you the pin just about right here. The other pin is just right here. Two, 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 and two. And then we'll put the panels in. Okay, I've got the one inch pins into the back. I've got the two inch pins through the sides. If you want to, there's four extra two inch pins. And you can put them right through this at the same time. That way you can change the, the panel height without having to do it later. Uh, then you're going to have to put two one inch pins into each side. Uh, you might have already done one side in a previous step, but I'm going to take the bottom hole like I did here. This is the bottom, this is the top. Put that in in two places. Slide your, slide your panels in. Put the uh, side out that is finished. Hands on the back, pins on the front, up front. And you do the same thing with the other one. And uh, then you've got all your pins in shape, and we're ready to proceed. Okay, now we're going to install the top. I turned the top upside down. I'm going to mark right across the holes here with a, a big cross or a big X. And that's going to help me when I get under the table to attach this. I'm going to turn it over. I'll line these up. I'll get under there. I'm going to get under there. I'm going to line the four holes up. And then I'm going to secure those with the uh, 5 eighths number 8, which are a little bit thicker uh, screw. So that would be the final step in getting the top off. Now I install the side shelves. You have the finished edge out. We just slide it in here. Drop it on the pins. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we'll put the middle shelf in. Here again, finish the edge out. Remember, there is some adjustment to that middle shelf and to the other ones. If you want to use the extra pins that we have. And then we'll put the drawer in. Dip the front of the drawer down, put the wheels the glides over the other side. Sometimes when they first go in, they catch a little bit, you just give them a little shove. And then you've got your unit complete, except for the little wooden discs that go in. I like to uh, align those with the grain before tapping them in with a hammer. You can also cover the disc with a little piece of plastic or a little piece of cloth to keep from marring that. But before you do that, tighten up all eight of the screws to the sides, to the braces, uh, because it's hard afterwards. And then you just align your little pins. They're tapered, cap them in place, and your unit's finished. Enjoy.